mosquito! Hey guys, it's Jules. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video today. And today I'm going to be basically taking like random shirts from my wardrobe and just revamping them. So I'm going to be like cutting them in half and connecting opposites with each other. And I'm going to show you the before and the after. And I'm going to be selling everything on my Etsy if I'm not going to keep it already. There's some shirts that are like personalized that have my last name on it. I'm going to be keeping like a sweatshirt. So I'll keep that, but other ones are going to be on my Etsy. I'm going to be making my very own company, like a small company, at the age of 18, which is pretty cool. So if you guys are like artsy and you want to make your own brand, make something on Etsy and sell it, and then just keep going. So... Let's get on with the video. So let me just show you the pores of all the shirts that I'm going to be doing. Two of them are already being tie-dyed, but like bleach tie-dyed. So I'm not going to show you those. Maybe I'll take a little video and put it right here and show you because I have a gray shirt that tie-dyed and it has some orange in it now. I don't know how that happened, but I guess the dye that it was made with was like dark orange or something. And then I have a blue shirt that tie-dyed out really, really nicely. And just blue and light blue. So we have little labels that tell me what I have to do with each of the shirts. I have this gray top that I'm just gonna cut and sew. And then match this up with another tie-dye shirt that I have. That's me match it up with a blue one. And then this one's cut and sew also. This is gonna be matched up. This gray one is gonna be matched up with the one that's currently orangey. I don't remember what that shirt looks like anymore. That's gonna be cut and sewn. And then I have these two, which is gonna be like so cool because I have pink and purple. I have this shirt that is from Mexico. My boyfriend's family got it for me. It has a little skull on it. And then I'm gonna tie, well, this one's already tied. I tied it like my first time ever tie dyeing. Didn't come out so amazing, but like it's actually really cool. It's a shirt from Wilkner University because that's where my brother goes. So these two are gonna be combined cut in half and sewed. Got my little label for that. Then these are gonna be so, so cool because I play volleyball for a lot of my life and I also play tennis, but I don't have any like tennis shirts. I don't actually remember where those shirts went, so I don't know where they are. So we just have volleyball shirts. This one I bought tie-dyed, it was literally 50 55 dollars it was so expensive having a tie-dyed shirt at a tournament i don't understand why because you could tie-dye it for literally three dollars so why did i fall for it i don't know everyone on your team buys a shirt and then you want to buy the shirt then i got this one this one wasn't as expensive because it's not tie-dyed but it's just another volleyball shirt so i'm going to combine those two cut them in half and sew these two together because this one has some orangey and yellow in it so it'll be really cool picking up the yellow on both sides these are already cut in half and bleached. My brother went downstairs today and he saw it and he was like, whoa, it's so cool. It's going to turn out really cool. So it's already cut in half and bleached. This one is bleached because it was black and it's like orangey now because the underlying dye, I guess, is orange or something, which just brings out the orange. And then this is just my other shirt. I, would, I played for two teams because my school team and my club team. So I have both of those sweatshirts here. These are the ones I'm going to be keeping. It's going to turn into two of them. So maybe I'll give one to my mom and we can be matching. So those are all of the shirts. Like a massive pile here of shirts that I just have laying around. Or like that were given to me by people. So I'm going to show you. How you can really just revamp your closet and if you are like bored in the house and the house bored <laughs> you could just do this or you could shop my etsy i already have an account because i purchase a lot of things off etsy i like to buy rings like this ring was purchased on etsy i keep it in my description down below i keep all the rings that i wear down below these two were like family heirlooms, so I don't have a link, but then this one is just from Gucci, so it's linked down too. But I purchased some more rings from Etsy, so I'm going to be linking those when I get them and I see how they are. Maybe I'll do like an what I purchased Etsy review to tell you some really cool small shops that you could purchase from that are actually really trustworthy. Like this ring, I highly recommend. So also recommend shopping my Etsy closet. Why not? My Etsy shop. So I'm gonna get to sewing and maybe I'll take a couple clips, maybe my mom will do that because I'm gonna be sewing it. 
and I'll show you the after. I'm gonna try it on so you can see it's a little rainy outside. We'll see. I hope you enjoy. except for two. I'm sure that they just didn't look good together, so I didn't do them, but I'm gonna show you the pile of clothes together. So this is one of them. It has another matching one. All I have to do now is just like cut this side to make it even. I think it's so cool having it like opposite. I love it, so I'll be posting that one on my Etsy. Oh, mosquito! This one is like pink and purple. This one's pretty small. So it's like size small or extra small. I'm just gonna cut to make it even on the bottom like I said the other one. on opposite sides. I think this one is so cute because it's tie-dye and pink and the pink still has like some purple in here. So it goes together really well. This one is my favorite. This is what I'm keeping because it has my last name on it and I don't want to have my last name on their clothes. That's kind of weird. But this one is like acid wash on this sleeve and then we've got just plain on this sleeve and it has both my volleyball teams that I played for which is really really cool I love it so much and it's kind of cool because my my club team has maroon this like orangey kind of kind of goes together got the opposite one again that acidy tone with the maroon really goes well together and then the blue is just like a pop of color it's really like big and comfy so that's good <laughs> shirts with pants and it's just tie-dye and blue and the blue has like orange in it and I think it looks so good together and it's long sleeve oversized they're both they were both like a size medium large so they go really well together <music>
and then I have the opposite one also. Tie-dye on one sleeve, blue on the other sleeve. There's a little bit of orange, and these are both volleyballs. You can tell because the volleyball net's here, and there's volleyball, and then there's volleyball there. So these were both two shirts from two volleyball tournaments, and now it is one shirt combining both. <laughs> sweatshirt so if you want to check that out i'll have my etsy link down below i'll be taking photos from these clips and i will insert them in my etsy and then you can shop the clothes that i make Ooh.